just one moment and then we'll sing together. Mark asked me to say a few words. Um, I had no idea when we started this process that there were 72,000 different versions of the Star Spangled Banner. Absolutely no idea. And every single one has a different rhythm that if you're making a recording, you can, if one person sings what they remember, you're toast because you have to do it again. And I had no idea that there were so many versions with lowered leading tones. Who knew? We do now. We do now. So when I think of the Star Spangled Banner, it's which one do I think of these days? Yesterday when we sang the Star Spangled Banner with a few hundred thousand of our closest friends and a uh, bald eagle and some jets flying over Michigan Stadium, that's the one that we remember. That's the one that we know. I come from a little bit of a checkered past with the Star Spangled Banner. I went to a very small high school in northern Kansas. There were 100 students in the whole school. And we had a history teacher who was legendary. She was about 102 years old. <laughs> she was actually at the uh, Declaration of Independence signing. <laughs> But she had some traditions in her classroom, and one of those was that everyone in the American history class, everyone had to be able to say, on command, all of the verses of the Star Spangled Banner. So I think we had to memorize three, I can never remember if it was three or four, but we had to memorize three. We had to memorize the preamble to the Constitution, and we had to memorize the Gettysburg Address. And at any given moment, she would say, Jerry Stan, verse three, Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> you stood. You didn't have to sing it, but you had to recite it. So, for me, the Star Spangled Banner brings back a whole lot of memories, <laughs> other than just the patriotic <laughs> that we think of. I do, however, I am, however, grateful for knowing that other verses exist and for knowing those verses. I couldn't say it to you today, even though we have sung 42 other verses of the Star Spangled Banner. But I am grateful for that heritage that I have of those verses and that music and those words together. Um, it is a, a remarkable moment. Uh, singing that together is a remarkable moment. The heritage that we have, the cumulative heritage we have of that piece is really remarkable. So I ask that you stand and we'll sing. I think you have all of the ver three verses there and we'll stand and sing those together, please. Your opportunity with the upper leading tone and <laughs> as you know it.
so there, we're going to move out into the um, diag right on front where there's this large flagpole you may have noticed. It's actually a pole from 1893. It's from the World's Columbian Exposition, and it was just refurbished. And so we're going to have a little bit of our own rededication ceremony um, with the university's ROTC is waiting out there for us. They're actually going to raise the flag. We're going to sing the first verse, just the first verse, of the Star Spangled Banner. You may want to take your lyrics with you if you want to have a little added confidence. We didn't have Jerry's teacher for you in the first grade. Um, and then we'll sing happy birthday and have a cupcake. So thank you so much to the library. Thanks to Jerry, Scott, the great musicians who school me the theater. Thank you for coming.